Thomas Van Antwerp. Remember Wild well, December. Remember Wild well, December, Thomas Van Antwerp. December brings only Christmas Day. In the year, let there be Christmas in all you do or say. I came across this Christmas poem just this last holiday season, and I think there's a grain of truth in it. In fact, I think I've experienced some of what it alludes to. It was four months ago I was in the grocery store. I had just paid for my purchase. I was grabbing my grocery bags, and I saw him, him. That's the nurse that took care of my sister, Deb, in the hospital three years ago. I want to say something to her. I got to say something. See, three years previous to this grocery store visit, my sister, Deb, had come down here to Florida to visit me from up north. She had never seen where I live. She had never seen where I work. She wanted to come down, visit, have a good time. And I told her, Deb, come down any time. Any time is a good time. Now tell me, let me tell you about my sister, Deb. We go back a long way, all the way back to the day of my birth. <laughs> she was eight years old at the time. And she was thrilled to have a little baby brother. I have the pictures to prove it. <laughs> what I remember about that is that she was so good at anything she undertook. When I was four years old, we would lay on the living room floor coloring together. One color book. I was here. She was there. Oh, she could color. In the lines. <laughs> She could make those nifty little polka dots with her crayons. Me? I couldn't stay in the lines coloring. It was so frustrating. Why can't I color like Deb? She would say, Tommy, you're only four years old. You won't get better. Well, fast forward two years, and I'm six years old. And Deb and I are decorating the Christmas tree. The decorations, the tinsel. Deb hung that tinsel so beautifully, it just cascaded down. Her tinsel looked like this. My tinsel looked like this. <laughs> it was so frustrating. Why can't I hang tinsel like Deb does? And Deb would say, well, Tommy, Hanging tinsel takes practice. You'll get better. That was Deb, always an encouraging word. Well, fast forward a number of years, and Deb's graduating from high school. I still remember her marching very proudly in that graduation procession, wearing those beautiful tassels around her neck. She graduated in the top three of her class. She graduated with honors. Me? I'd gotten a C that year in fourth grade arithmetic, <laughs> all because of those nasty multiplication tables. <sighs> it was so frustrating. <clears throat> Why can't I be smart like Deb? Deb would say, Tommy, multiplication tables aren't exactly easy. It takes practice. You don't get better. Deb, always an encouraging word. So this was my sister who was about to come down to Florida to visit me. We made the final arrangements over the phone. I hung up the phone. I immediately went to the next room. I gathered up all my crayons and my coloring books and I hid them away. <laughs> I picked her up at the airport on the appointed day. We went out for dinner. We had a good time those next seven days, seeing the sights of Tampa Bay, 
going out for dinner. We even went to a Toastmasters meeting on Monday night. <laughs> then on the seventh day, Thursday evening, down to the swimming pool, Deb suffered a severe heart attack. She was rushed to the hospital in the ambulance, put in the intensive care unit. Family members gathered from near and far. Somehow we knew Deb wasn't going to make it. Five days later, she passed away. But during those five days, that nurse, who was now standing just a few feet away from me in the grocery store, took such good care of her and of us. His kindness, his understanding, his sympathy, I'll never forget. So with my grocery bags, I walked over to that nurse in that grocery store at the end of the grocery line. I said, excuse me, sir, you don't know me, but three years ago, you took care of my sister Deb in the hospital before she passed away. And I just want to tell you that I really appreciate it. nurse turned to me and said, you don't know what it means to me to hear you say that. Thank you so very much. And I walked out of that grocery store in my grocery bags. And on the sidewalk, I said, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I'm glad I said something. I think there was a little bit of Christmas in that grocery store. And I think there was a little bit of Christmas in that intensive care unit three years previous. And maybe that's because during her short life on this earth, Deb put a little bit of Christmas in all she said and did towards all the people who crossed her path in life. Just this last December at my home Christmas party, one of my guests came after me and said, Tom, your Christmas tree is so beautiful. Every strand of tinsel is hanging perfectly straight. It's beautiful. And I smiled and I said, Deb, I finally got better. <laughs> Remember? Well, December brings only Christmas Day. Through the year, let there be Christmas and all you do or say. Madam Hunter. <laughs>